We're going to talk about the 10 must-watch games of the NBA this season from the Battle of LA series to the Christmas Day matchups. Y'all know which one specifically. And, of course, the Ball Brothers meetup and give our thoughts on each each one. And before we get into it, I don't usually do this this early, but hit that sub button and stay tuned to the channel because we're going to do game reactions to every single game on this list. Including the LA Massacre. Ooh, all right, so we're just jumping right into it. Um, you guys see the list. It started off with the Lakers versus Warrior. Obviously, by the time of this recording, that's already passed. But it's still early enough. That's why we're still doing this list because guess what? Next up, we got the Lakers versus Clippers on Wednesday, November 9th at 10 Eastern PM on ESPN. Um, you really think it's going to be a massacre? By who? The Lakers massacring the Clippers or the Clippers massacring the Lakers? Look, man, the only thing the Lakers are going are gonna to massacre is viewers' eyes with how bad their three-point shooting is, man. Like, it's... I thought my shooting was bad, man. I'm like, Christ. I saw a tweet man, say, man. I don't know if this is accurate, but Westbrook right now is shooting at 8% from the three for not, the season. It's and not, I was like, it, what? It's not even just Westbrook, man. It's just that whole team in general, no, yeah. man. Like, if LeBron is your best three-point shooter, man, your team is fucked. Yeah, I'm especially so in a three-point like, shooting league like, right now. Okay. It's, it's just not going to work out. And... I mean, Battle of LA for this season, I don't think it's questionable anymore. We're going to see. I mean, Clippers are going to be the the favorites for the, for the remainder of the season. Kawhi yeah. is looking good. PG, who was the, the most favorite to look good, is looking good. And and Wall, man. Wall is back. What did I tell Wall you? Wall is back. What did I tell you? What? What did you say? I, I'm telling you, man. We were making the 30 teams on 30 days, man. They started with the Clippers for for number one for what for for a good reasons because they're gonna end up at number one as champions. They're maybe number one seed. They're not. They're not winning no they're championship. They're winning the champion. They're winning There's the this championship. Team up in San Francisco, Golden State Warriors. You ever heard of them? Yeah, they're all, they're all right. They're all right. They're all right <laughs> with their fucking young buck Wiseman st- also looking good. Yo. Ah, oh, God, I, I wish I lived there, man. Cause like that that dynasty, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna extend, man. I think they're like in their their MCU phase, man. The yeah. Early MCU before before Endgame, they're they're on that high long stretch of success. Cause let's be honest, after Endgame, there there are a couple fumbles. I mean, Eternals was pretty good. Spider-Man no, 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 was... I know, I know. But I'm saying, like, it's not as... It used to be, like, every time a Marvel oh, movie yeah, yeah, came yeah, out, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, bang, yeah, yeah. everybody showed up, this and that. Now it's like, oh, whoa. Uh. And right now, I think the Warriors are going to be on that train where, like, oh, shit, every year is going to be bank, 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 bank. If pool keeps looking good, and they're going to keep pool, even if it's partly for, like, you know, they extended they him, so yeah, yeah. That, that 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 owner has money, man. Uh, he's not. Not only does he have money, but I love the fact that he puts his money where his mouth is. I mean, we'll talk about the Warriors soon. All right, let's. All right, Clippers. I mean, talking about who has got wait, money, wait, right wait, here, wait, man, wait, wait, right wait, here. Wait, this wait, man got money. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Ballmer. <laughs> oh man, that guy shits out. Richest owner grip. for a reason, and yeah, for... he also puts his money where his mouth is. Um, and yeah, I mean, this game's gonna be exciting to watch. LeBron is going to show out because I think LeBron, he's, everybody knows he's got an ego. He's going to want to perform for LA versus LA. It's just a natural thing. AD, solidified. He's a, he's a Robin. And as long as he plays his role, he's good. But he's not, he's, he's not superstar. I don't know. He just doesn't excite me as much anymore. Still a good, a great player. Don't get me wrong. But like, nah. Westbrook, watched. Next. PG is going to, I think PG, Kawhi, and Wall are going to show out. And I really, I really hope that they do. And they, I hope you're right about the massacre thing. Now, I got the Clippers winning this, no doubt. Yeah, I got the Clippers winning this by thirty. You need to relax. No, they're, 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 so, put some respect on King James' name, bro. I have. If, if LeBron wasn't playing, they'll lose by a hundred. <laughs> uh, All right, but you know. Nuggets versus Celtics. They're not losing by 100. <laughs> Friday, November 11th, 7th Eastern PM, NBA TV. That already cut out like half the demographic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what can we say about this? This is, these are true, two true title contenders for this season. Last season, I had the Nuggets as, they were one of my favorites if all three of the superstars came, or not superstars, but three of the stars came to be healthy and performed. Obviously, Jamal never came back. MPJ, 
obviously had injuries. But if this season we finally get a full healthy Nuggets, I got them at the Western Conference Finals. And I, I just don't think in, in one full year of playing together, they're going to figure everything out, even though they've been together for a while. I think it's going to take a while to... And then maybe this is the year they get the, 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 the train going, and then next year they become true title contenders. Unlike the Celtics over here, they're already well on their way. I'm mean, even without Udoka. It's impressive what they're doing. No, it is. I mean, the Nuggets. That look, it, I already can tell. There's there's thoughts going on. It, it, it's gonna take some time, but the good thing is there's this thing called an 82 game regular season. You know, so they'll get their they'll get their time to, to to get their chemistry on point. And I'm telling you, the Nuggets get healthy to the playoffs with Joker right there, man. They're making it to the finals. All right, they are making it to the finals. Past the Warriors, past the Warriors, man. Like past your Clippers. Look, oh, oh. Shit. oh. yeah, yeah. Pa- they could, they could, yeah. Because like we are talking about a two-time MVP now in Jokic, which two years ago, and he's a and, and he's a big man that could pretty much do it all. Yeah. Like, like, and if MPJ is playing at the potential that he can play by the mid end of the season, because he's. he's the trajectory is still there. And they're pretty deep, too, the Nuggets. Yeah. And Jamal just has to come back like Jamal. Hopefully, yeah. maybe Bubble Jamal, because Bubble Jamal was so fucking smooth, man. Yeah, for His real. game was sexy as fuck so in the bubble. So, I think there's going to be a statement game for the Nuggets to show, hey, we're legit. Like, uh, what's up? Don't forget Especially about it. versus the Celtics. Exactly. Like, yeah. they just came off a finals appearance, and it's like, look, we can fucking take these motherfuckers down. Who can't we take down? Yeah. So I, I got, I got three, the, I got the Nuggets winning. Yeah, they got the Nuggets I, winning. I don't know. Right. My gut is kind of saying Celtics. All right. So, w- so we're one. moving on from legitimate contenders to legitimate circus. Nah, nah. I would say fake contenders. Legit contenders and now fake contenders. Yeah, they're Mickey Mouse contenders. Nets. There you go. Nets versus Sixers. Tuesday, November twenty second, seven thirty p.m. Eastern Time. TNT. Thanksgiving week. This is gonna be lit. Um, I mean. KD, Ben Simmons, Kyrie versus Harden, Harris, and Embiid. In Philadelphia. Uh, this one's going to be interesting because our, there are already little rumors, little speculations with the drama in the Sixers because Ooh, Harden. They're what they uh, are, man. They suck. Yeah. Mm. I've actually been told by Cornell, actually, that he, he thinks I might be right about what I said, what's going to end up happening, and Embiid's going to end up leaving because Harden's going to take over as the franchise face. <laughs> and I feel like this season we're already starting to see oh, see that direction playing out. And you don't think so? I mean, we'll see, man. And you gotta give I, it time. I think it, no, of course. I think Embiid. I feel like his heart is not in Philadelphia. Nah, it's not. Nah, and it doesn't matter how much time you got left on your contract. In today's NBA, if you're a superstar, which Embiid is, you you cry a little, you. Um, what the best word for it? Yeah, and you nag, 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 and they're like, "Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> All right, <laughs> and they'll, put, they'll put you somewhere else. That, that's why this is a message for Coach Spolstra: play fucking Jovich, so they can fucking see like, oh, this guy can ball. I like, I like Jovich though. Keep yeah. him. Keep him. I like him beat more though. Bring him beat over here. Trey, ba- Trey Bam over there too, and Trey Kyle Lowry's fat ass over there too. But bring him beat. I saw here. a tweet, Kyle. Versus, I mean, trading for uh, Hayward. I like that. But, yeah, in this game, it's going to be interesting. Kyrie's proven already this season that he still got it. Like, got it, got it. Yeah. Um, KD, this is the first time. I started seeing a little bit of inklings of it last year. He's still top tier. But I'm seeing early signs, guys. Just take this for what I'm saying. Early signs. Father time. Doesn't have a grip on him, but it's like Father Time's fingers are starting to creep up around his shoulder. Whoa. And I feel like there's there's a slight, very, it's slight, but it's noticeable enough, at least for me, in his game, right? There's a slow down-ish, you know what I mean? Or like a fragility. There's something. There's something a little off or yeah, something a little different. Yeah, well, something is, is that uh, KD is going to creep his way to Miami, to South Beach. Yeah, let's... Tyler! You're going to you're going to to Brooklyn, and then um, yeah, I think I think Brooklyn, I think they could destroy the six. I really this game I think can go either way. I think Brooklyn is going to destroy the seventy sixes, man. Like, think yo, so? man. And like, here's the thing: if Brooklyn whoops the Sixers' ass in this game, this is going to be one of those 
highlight games. Pay attention to the Embiid highlight clips of his, like his reaction during this game if they lose, because that's when you're really gonna see like Embiid just over it already by the uh, late November of like the Sixers. And there's the that, organization. And there's no amount of way that James Harden can lose to change his mind. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't think they're they're the fit that everybody wants them to be. And yeah, and then also I don't think. I think the Ben Simmons drama, like him getting a ride there, some people are going to hype it up. I don't think it's just going to be that hyped. After seeing Ben on J.J. Reddick's podcast, honestly, that episode clarified so much. I thought Simmons approached it in a very mature way. And, um, yeah, it played out beautifully. And I think a lot of people, if you, a lot of Sixers fans that did watch it are going to be a little bit more like chill about like, oh, we get it. It's not what it was rumored to be like Ben Simmons and what he was doing or whatever acting there's nothing, in Philly at the time. There's nothing chill with Philly fans, man. They booed fucking Santa Claus. No, there's definitely still going to be some, but I don't think it's going to be as as crazy as the, the crazy what game the, is, uh, commercials are going to hype it up to be. The crazy one is the next one that we're talking about here. Grizzlies versus Warriors. Yes. Sunday, December 25th, 8 Eastern PM on ESPN. Draymond and John manifested this matchup on NBA Twitter. Shout out to NBA Twitter. I swear this game wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for that. This is also the first time in franchise history the Grizzlies get to play on Christmas Day. And why? Because they have the next face of the league on their franchise. There are very, very, very few athletes that can come into a team and just do something different to it. Messi did it for Barca. LeBron did it for Cleveland. Ja did it to your mouth. <laughs> your you clearly cannot get Giannis off. Giannis did it to Milwaukee. And yeah, this is Ja's doing it for Memphis. Like, and I'm not trying, like, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm not putting down the rest of his, uh, I was going to say cast, his teammates. But it's the Ja, ja Moran show. It's Ja Mania. And that's why they're getting this. He is just spectacular. And look, if you're a casual NBA fan or you're a new NBA fan, Memphis Grizzlies anytime they play is one of the few times right now I never thought I would say this like five plus years ago you want to tune into that game because John Morant is special he really can be the next face of the league we said it in one of our earlier videos before there was even any jaw hype yes sir and we, I detail why I believe it was going to happen and he's living up to all those like check boxes and except yeah, he's too short for you watch out <laughs> <Give it. laughs> um so just keep an eye out for any Memphis games. You're going to enjoy it, and especially this Christmas game. I think, I really do believe, this could be one of the greatest Christmas Day matchups of all time. And a big reason is because Dre and Ja are cut from the same cloth of like rough edges, old school basketball, old school mentality where they don't hold back. And they've been, they talk their shit on, offline, on, well, online, off court. So I, I don't think they're going to, they're going to hold back a little because, again, it's still early in the season. This is not a playoff game. This is not finals. But they're going to play harder than what most big franchises would play at this point in the season in the NBA. Absolutely, man. I think Ja and Co. are going to win this game, put uh, put the Warriors on notice. He's going to drop 60. 60? 60. You think the Grizzlies are going to win? I think they will. My but- head is telling me Warriors, but my heart telling me the Grizzlies and I do think Jaw's gonna show out because also it's the he's aware of this and he I like because he's got that Jordan mentality and that LeBron mentality this is the biggest stage for basketball aside from the playoffs the postseason so why why not show out you know how many random people are gonna be tuning in yeah absolutely man um, and let's move on to the next game the Suns versus Nuggets all right Sunday December 25th as well after this game 10 30 Eastern p.m. on ESPN I mean, look, after I, we just hyped up that last, the, the the Warriors versus Grizzlies game, this is going to be fun, but this this is not going to be, it's not going to match up to that one. I don't think so. Mm. Although I can see this is going to be a more rough game to watch where they're going to rough it out because these two teams are kind of evenly matched and they're both on that B tier Contender for the Western Conference because there you got no doubt Warriors are at the top favorites. Like, I don't think any, everything about that team is so well balanced. They, yeah, there's no doubt. You got the Clippers, maybe for most people nowadays, or for a lot of people, because you have common that sense, three headed monster in Kawhi, Wall, and um, PG. 
Suns have been inconsistent. Nuggets have had inconsistent health issues. So this will be a nice matchup to see. Do these teams really have it to be true title contenders this season? I think they will, man. I think the Suns I've seen this last uh, last night versus the Warriors, man. They seem legitimately upset. You know that that like a bad taste in their mouth of how they exited the playoffs last year. Oh, for sure. Yeah, man. So I think the Suns are going to end up making a statement in this game and show that, hey, we're still here. You know, we made the finals like two years ago. What's up? I think the Nuggets are going to win this game. Okay. I think they're, the Suns are going to try. I think CP3 is going to have a classic CP3 ch- uh, choke. Uh, I think uh, Devin Booker is going to once again show that he has superstar offensive prowess, but at the end of the day, he's a star where he can't just carry his team over the W. He needs a guy like Damian Lee to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Jokic, being Jokic, he's just going to end up just doing it, you know, flawlessly. Again, this is all three, all three, MPJ, Murray, and 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 Jokic got to play. Okay, I'm just, that's good. let me make that clear. All right, let me make this clear. We're moving on to the next game, Heat versus Hawks. Monday, January 16th, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time TNT. That's funny. That's my sister's birthday. Nice. Um, okay there. That's going to be hard I don't know how we're going to do a game reaction for that Actually mm-hmm. I just realized we're going to see each other For like 5-6 hours On Christmas day dude Just kill me now <laughs> Yeah, Actually just a heads up We already said we're going to do game reactions For Christmas that we're both going to have off Live stream Tune in we'll live stream it Yeah, fuck it. yeah, yeah. at this point yeah, we're, yeah We got that benefit already yeah. with Just stuff. make sure you get me something nice for Christmas yeah, I'll get your mama for Christmas. What? Uh, what okay. the? F- Anyways, Heat versus Hawks, man. What do you think, man? Like, I don't even know why this game's on the list. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh come on, man. No, nah, man. I mean, nah, you're just I'm, being a homebody right that, now. Okay, bro. no, that's true, man. Like, like what, what the fuck? What the, the fuck do the Heat versus Hawks have to offer? Let's be honest. The Heat at the start of the season, horrendous. Even even if they figure it out. The Heat are not true contenders this Shut season. Shut the hell up, man. Not, like, they, they, that mean, well. Hawks, I also don't think are true contenders. I think they can be better contenders than the Heat. Nah. But let's see how Trey and... and DeJounte. DeJounte play out. And John Collins. Um, yeah, I actually can't. See, they have a more solidified big three than the Heat. You know what I mean? Collins has proven himself. Murray, proven himself. Trey, small guy, but proven himself. More than Bam and Tyler, I'm not gonna say Jimmy. Jimmy's definitely above okay, yeah, all I was about, six of them. About, about, about say, man, like don't disrespect Jimmy. Bam, hey, look, man, to his defense, he looks like he's finally all right, a but little if, bit more aggressive when it comes to the like threes. Jimmy and Trey, I will put them at the same level of proving themselves in the post. What? No, man, Bro. Jimmy's above Trey. I would definitely put him above Tate, but overall, it's, no, it's arguable no, between both. No, it's no, arguable. No, no, it's not arguable. Bam versus Dejounte. Oh, no. Dejounte led a franchise. Bam could never lead a franchise. Oh, what did Dejounte do? All oh, lead him to the first and round. Tyler and John, wow. Collins plays really well on the Hawks, so I'll, I'll give it. I even no, need on Collins. No, man. I think like, overall that no, three. No, no, no. Like, look, man. I know I've been hard on Bam, but okay, look, man. No. Jimmy, way over Trey. Okay. Bam. Okay. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's move on to the next game. We can be I on got this forever. The Heat winning that game, though. Yes. Yeah, even man. after all the shit I just talked. Oh. Celtics versus Heat, Tuesday, January 24th, 7 30 Eastern PM on TNT. That one is worth watching. That should be. I Like, again, I don't know why the Heat versus Hawks. Celtics versus Heat, two time meetups in the past three years in the Eastern Conference Finals. This year. The Heat aren't as formidable as they were in the, in the past two years. However, maybe as the season progresses, we'll see. And this game will serve as a statement game for either team. You know what I mean? I, so this is definitely one to watch out. I think this would be a game for the Heat that either they're going to show as a statement that be like, hey, we're still here, or yes. we need some fucking help. Pat Riley, get off your fucking ass and, and trade for somebody. It also shows a statement game for the Celtics. Like, hey, we're mature to the point mentally that we like they can't fumble they can't like fuck us up you know what i mean because back in the day I, I would have the heat leaning over the celtics even though i thought the celtics were more talented um with their stars because the heat had more vet experience but the celtics they yeah. they got that last year i think the heat are gonna win that game all right let's move on to nah, a game celtics. that makes no sense over here bulls versus hornets thursday january 26 uh 7 30 p.m on tnt look this is gonna be um a great game because 
I mean, I can see what you say. It's not <sighs> hyped up or whatever. I don't even know how to word it. But it's the Bob Brothers, man. Like, Look, a of lot of us grew up watching them online. And, man, like, man. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. Anytime they face off. And guess what? It's not just two Bob Brothers. It's Trey. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, man. Look. No, man. Like, Lonzo Ball's injured. I think he's... I don't know. He might be done low-key. And... For the season? I don't know, man. That injury is not looking good. No, I know. For January 26, you're not. I, I, has, I completely blanked has, out that he like did the surgery. He hasn't recovered properly um, from that. And Lamella Ball is rotting away in, in Charlotte, man. Like it's just Lamella Ball, and that's pretty much it over there, man. <laughs> like Jordan is like the one of the is the goat, I guess, in the court, and he's a goat of bad owners. So I'm like, like the, the karma, bro. Like, jeez. No, I feel you. All I right. really wish that. Um, Lonzo, I mean, uh, LaMelo was actually on Lonzo's former team. Because if you put Lonzo in New Orleans, you mean that's LaMelo. a title contender. I mean, yeah, LaMelo in New Orleans, that's a title contender. I mean, you know, right well, now. they're already on the come up, and, right? Yeah. All right. And Wait, we'll, but who you got winning this? I mean, I really, I really don't care, but yeah, Bulls. It doesn't matter if you <laughs> care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah Bulls. <laughs> All right, Mavericks versus Suns Thursday, January 26, 10 Eastern p.m. on TNT. This one is going to be good because um, they've already faced off. They're, they, there's a certain tension between these two now that's been solidified recently that I think will just keep getting brought up. And at this point, um, it'll just... This is like... I think this is going to be a second or third time they meet up by, by uh, in this game. Mm-hmm. And... Who, Obviously, the Suns won last game. Some might say a little luck because Damian Lee, like, nobody expected that, whatever. Yeah. So, Luka's going to come back. Dallas is going to come back with a little vengeance. You know what I mean? And, and Luka, the Suns no, are going to be prepared for that. So, I think it's going to lead to a lot of uh, back and forth between the two. And Luka's going to show he's why, Booker, he's, why, why he's Booker's daddy. Again. Oh my lord, dude! Yeah. Anyways, guys, but this could also be a Western Conference Finals uh, preview. Maybe it could be. I'm not saying it would, but it could be. I would love to see these two meet up some point in the playoffs, whether it's the first round, second round, maybe Conference Finals. But I, th- I would just hope they get to meet in the postseason because this is one of my favorite matches right now in the NBA. Pretty good, yeah. No, I agree. I think it'd be I hope more one day. I- Luca and and Devin throw hands on court. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that doesn't happen, man. The closest thing we get to a fight in the NBA is just that they get close and they break it up like in one second. I'm like, oh, wow. Tough guys. That's true, but sometimes, I don't know, man. Sometimes shit happens. Yeah, I feel you. Remember when, the, fuck, I forgot his name right now. Chase LeBron? That was insane. Oh, yo, the massacre, the, the massacre in, uh, in the palace, part two. <laughs> Crazy. Jeez, man, that guy has balls. But anyways, guys. I uh, appreciate all the love and the hate. You guys already know. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all podcast streaming platforms. We'll catch you guys soon. For Stay now. tuned for all the live game reactions right after each one of these games. And for some of them, we will uh, stream live. So that'll be exciting. And just don't forget to sub the channel. Yes, we'll sir. For you guys. Yeah, for real. Uh, anyways, we'll catch you guys soon. For now, later.